What's up, what's up? This your boy Fat Boy. You know, we keep the 10 minutes, no limit, but there's no gimmick at you. Giving y'all a real food review. Now, rock with me today. And right, we at this little spot. I follow this page on Facebook, right? And um, this guy has a little food trailer. Uh, it's called Bahamian Barbecue. Hopefully, I'm getting that right. 1814 Harrisburg Pike, right in the corner of Harrisburg and Frank Road, right in the Sunoco gas station. Um, people was on there talking about, oh man, this dude's fake. He, he posted stuff and, and ain't no posting the address, whatever. So you know I had to come over here and get this guy a shot. He got homemade sausage, biscuits, and gravy and a piece of bacon for five bucks. It's pretty sure he has other stuff on there, but that's the breakfast stuff he got. I'm about to show you all the truck right now. And I'm going to come back when I had the food and we're going to do this review. Come over here and get this guy a shot. Hopefully this food is good. I'm going to let y'all see the truck. That's the truck right there, y'all. That's the trailer right there. So you can come over here and get you some... Uh, sauce biscuits and gravy and hopefully um it's good we better go over here and check it out if this worth it you know is it worth it's gonna be a quick review y'all but i just wanted to come over here and review this uh and to support him you know what i'm saying he got a nice little little tiny little food trailer and um let's go over here and see if this food is good we'll be back all right i'm gonna take y'all with me i'm gonna take y'all with me he is real he got a nice little car now nah, that's probably the people's car at the gas station oh 510 look like a little mustang so Okay, so the guy's real. They go to the food trailer. He's real. So you ain't got to worry about him. Because Kobe would say he wasn't real. He's definitely real. Um, we're going to go ahead and get some orange juices. Because I forgot. So my guy's in there. He getting ready. Uh, I'm going to let y'all see this bacon. <laughs> I think he only charged me an extra dollar for the three slices. And y'all about to see why. Um, dude, pretty cool. Like I said, there was some people on there talking about, oh, yeah, he's fake. It ain't, it ain't no real food trailer because he ain't post an address. Dude, he right here on the corner. Right here. He right there, y'all. That's real. He real. But hopefully this biscuits and gravy is good, cause this bacon. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we gonna we gonna talk about it when I uh, come back. That's where he said he get his meat for his sausage from. So this is where we gonna do the review at Schumann's right here. This is where we gonna do the review at. This is where he get his meat for the homemade sausage and gravy that we about to do right now. So this is where the review is gonna be done at right here. All right. It's only right. Forgive me if it falls, y'all. I'm gonna try to be careful. All right. Turn the car off. This where he, we in the city parking lot right now, y'all. All right. Dude seemed like all right, dude. He gave me a spoon for this in the gravy. You know, I like the pork. He asked me, do I want hot sauce? I said, I'm black, but I ain't that black. He asked me, and he asked me, do I want silverware? Like, oh, I'm going to eat it with my hand. Big dude, man. You know I'm about to uh, eat this in the car. This is gravy and bacon. All right. Now, y'all see the struggle game on that bacon. It's early. He said... <laughs> He got to go get some more bacon from the shoe from Schumann's when they open. Um, so we're going to get this bacon a shot first. I like syrup on my business and gravy, but I wanted to give y'all a review without having syrup on it. And bacon is it's a little struggle. It's a little struggle looking. It's like, like bacon, bacon pieces, little burnt up pieces. But it's all right. It ain't bad. It might look terrible. Not that one. It ain't bad. That's gonna be bad. I'm gonna taste the char on some of these. But he gave it to me for a dollar. Mm. A little saucy. Some of this some of these pieces is it's super soft saucy. Um but it's better you know what you're getting. Alright. This in the gravy. Right here in Schumann's, I just pulled up at Schumann's, looked at me like I was about to rob them for their meat. We're going to get this a shot. Don't really smell like biscuits. Don't really smell like biscuits and gravy. But you can see that chunked up sausage in there. The dude, that's a cool guy. 1814 uh, Harrisburg Pike. Let's check it out. I'm, I give everybody an honest and fair review. And I give y'all what I think the food is. I don't sit up here and, and, and coon it up. Uh, that's you know for for certain places I don't do that. I get the food, I eat the food, I taste the food, and I give you an honest review on what I'm eating. There's never no bias. I'm never biased with any restaurant. I'm gonna tell you how it is. And that's just the way I do. Let me go in for one more, y'all. Mm. 
you can taste the freshness in that sausage. It got flavor, but it's it's good. It's something that's off uh, off, but it's good. It took me. A, it's good. It's good. It's definitely good. Yeah. Bisons and gravy is good, y'all. It's different than what I make. I make a really good bisons and gravy. This is uh this is different. But it's good. But when you taste it, you're gonna be like, okay, I, I know what he's talking about on this different. I understand. It's good. I'm gonna give this out of five rating. And not out of ten. Out of five. This bacon, maybe you sold out of bacon. I came with the pieces, but you cooked this bacon like this. This bacon ain't just get like this. Then they had the bacon in one of these. Like it was already done. You can have a food trailer. It's going to be a little bit more time, but I'm making your bacon fresh. The bread and gravy, cool. You can pre-make, take your biscuit out, boom. The bacon, you can make that fresh. If you got the thing on the, you know, the, grill, the grill on the truck to make it fresh. I don't want to pull up and you have my bacon in one of these already and say, well, well yeah, I think I got enough. Um, that's what he told me. He said, well, I think I got enough bacon. I don't know. It's literally uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. How are you out of bacon? You you can over you can overcook bacon because you're going to be up open for breakfast 10, 11 o'clock. You know what I mean? I don't want to pull up and you got my bacon already, already done. I don't like that unless it's perfectly cooked. But this, y'all see the burn on that. Come on. This bacon, this bacon gets some one. Some, look at that. Some pieces, I didn't mean to eat that. I just got caught in the moment. Um, I'm looking for a person to do reviews with, y'all. Um, I definitely am. Um, I got my boy James. We're going to knock out a couple more reviews. I'm looking for a full-time person to do food reviews with. Um, that bacon, um, I'm going to get that bacon a .5. I mean, I can't give it a one because it ain't a one. I got to give it a .5. And I know when he come back... With the with the um with the fresh bacon, it might be better. But right now, this bacon is a point one. And biscuits and gravy. I give it a three and a half. Later, I change this to a and two point seven, y'all. Three and a half. You can taste the quality in the meat from from this place to from Schumann's to like I said, you go to Kroger's and make your biscuits and gravy. You can taste the quality in the sausage. And you really can. Let's get a 3.5. Um, I'll probably give it a 4 with syrup. Like I said, it's different, but it's a good different, but it's just a weird different. You know what I mean? Anyway, to the next review. I ain't even get to get dude's name. And for the next review, y'all, we're gone. Y'all another. Yeah. A good different. We out. Uh, Dave Johnson's food review. Subscribe, like, comment, all that. You know the deal. Until next time, y'all. We gone. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Um, I had to come back on here to let y'all know. I, I got to change that score. So that uh, the bacon is still going to be a 0.5. I got to change the score so that biscuits and gravy. That biscuits and gravy, I'm going to have to knock it down to a 2.8. It really ain't sitting right with me right now. Um, I don't know if it's because of that fucked up ass bacon I had. Maybe it's the bacon. But the, the taste of that business and gravy, it ain't bad. It's like I said, it's different. I might have to knock that down to 2.7. I'm um, going to try it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Like I said, it's a different taste. But uh, would I go back and get that? Uh, no. Why? Because I can make business and gravy better than that. And reviews, I never talk about, you know, my cooking because it's not about me. But I would never go back and get that because I can make a better business and gravy than that. So. It's a 2.7. Dude was cool as hell. Like I said, if you're going to have bacon, have bacon and where you can make it fresh. Biscuits and gravy, if you pre-do that, that's cool. Because, you know, you just keep the biscuits in the warmer. Gravy, just keep that heated up, stirred occasionally. But don't give me no bacon that look like it's been sitting there since you've been opening. And it's burnt. Like, I don't do that. Um, Yeah, but I just had to come back on to say that. Uh, I'm going to go over here to this alterations place and get a couple zippers, put on my uh, wife's jacket and... That's uh yeah. I'm, I'm out, so I'm out. Go try it if you want. But not really missing anything.